think that unbordered content is um, something that is particularly interesting. And right now, you know, we're still of the mindset where you go to one site or one place, and we're starting to see the connections with things like Twitter, aggregators like uh, Flipboard, and so on and so forth. But I believe this unbordered mindset is something that the next generation, which unfortunately has been, been deemed Gen Z, hopefully they'll come up with something more um, interesting by the time they come of age, but you know, is, is born into. There's never been a time where they haven't um, had what they want, when they want it, how they want it, without all of the, the trip ups of technology that the rest of us had to work our way through. Um, we all know the complications of technology, but we also know that the best technology is the technology that's streamlined, simple, everyone can get it, and there's not a lot of steps you need to take. So I think probably the biggest thing that's going to happen is really breaking down a lot of the borders, um, and I think that that's when some of the things that feel niche now are going to become more mass. Yeah, I think that's a pretty interesting point because as I was watching the game and sort of following everything on Twitter, you know, for me, obviously, I'm sort of just following the tech geeks that are on there, so I'm curious to know how they feel about certain commercials. Um, but, you know, one of the things that, one of the gripes that I have with, you know, whether it's Twitter or Facebook or just aggregators in general is the simple fact that there's just so much it's information overload. Um, and for me, I need something that will help me sort of clear through all the clutter. Um, but going forward, I'm not really sure, you know, people have to kind of figure that out for themselves, I think. But maybe I just follow too many people. Uh, maybe I just pay too much attention, I don't know. But, um, you know, that's one of the issues for me is, is clearing through all of that clutter to get what it is that I want to get out of it. Yeah, just to kind of expand on that, too, I think, I think you're right. I think the uh, hyper-local content is so uh, valuable uh, to people. And it's just, in, in my experience, uh, uh, with Scout Mom, not only did I mention featuring the deal, but part of what we do to grow organically is ensuring that we're featuring um, the who's who and what's what in the various cities that we're in. And so, something that combines this, you know, this idea of uh, content, uh, you know, in the future, I think that's relevant to people that are that are looking for that. Or perhaps maybe it's inundated with information now, but it's a way to streamline that for you personally, uh, you know, it's probably got to happen in the future, I'm sure.